Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So today I'm going to show you guys how to install the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 460 OC card into your PC. This particular case is the Anides AI Crystal case. Beautiful case. Great way to show it off to you. So the reason I'm putting this together, you know, for some of you that may not know how to install a video card, well, everybody's going to tell you, oh, it's super easy because they don't remember the first time they did it. I'm going to help you guys so you get some, you know, confidence in what you're doing and you don't have to pay uh, retail stores, I'm not going to mention their names, a hundred bucks, 150 bucks to tell you, well, this is really complicated. This is going to take me about three hours and I'll take care of this for you. Don't tell anybody I'll give you a discount of $150. Don't fall for that crap. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, this is going to be handy for those of you that either A, don't have a video card and are using on, uh, on, on, it hurt, it hurts me to say this, on CPU video, I'm sorry, I had to, or maybe your video card died. This will help you guys, everybody. Again, just showing you how to install the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 460 OC. Come over here real quick, and I'll show you how to do it. Here is the inside of my PC, which is the inside of your PC. They all basically look the same, but at the same time look a little different. Anyway, so most of your cases are going to have screws right along the side here. This case is a little bit different. The screws are right here. Let me zoom in and show you that real quick. So the screws are right here on the outside, which again is a little bit odd because they're typically on the inside, but in any case, it's typically going to be the same. So we're going to go ahead and remove this video card. So to do that, first off, we got to remove those screws. So I'm just going to go ahead, unscrew this real quick. And this is a double wide card. You may have only a single wide card or none at all, but for this particular card, the AMD, the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 460 OC card, it is a double wide card. You can see right back here, it takes up two slots. So we're going to need to remove two of these screws. Let me zoom out. All right, now that we have those screws removed in this particular case we can just slide this out now this will give us some room back here to actually pull the card out now on, on a lot of motherboards not every single motherboard there's a little piece PCIe retention mechanism right back here and I'll zoom in so I can show it to you okay right back here uh, over right over the PCIe slot now to get to remove that card you need to push that down all right so you're going to need to use two hands to pull it out now again just remember i did this okay so i'm going to zoom out and i'm going to show you guys exactly how i do it all right so one hand on the card right here the other hand to push that little retention mechanism down and that's it you pull lightly and it slips right out Okay, and then the other thing is there is these PCIe power cables, which you will need to remove. So you just push down on the little clamp on the bottom, so maybe on the top, and you remove them. Okay, so now I've removed my other video card, which is, in this case, is either a bad video card, meaning it died, or an underpower video card, or maybe we don't even have one. So I'm just removing it so that we can either install a new video card, upgrade an existing video card, or replace a potentially damaged video card. Now we're going to go ahead and install the new video card. Again, the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 460 OC card. All right. Now one thing I want you to notice while I install the card, that little clip I showed you before is going to go really quick down and back up that's letting you know that it's locked in it locked the card in place the retention is occurring right here that little 
L bracket. All right, a little piece of plastic is sticking over it so you can't pull it out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna do it quick one time just to show you how quick and easy it is. And then I'm gonna take it out to show you guys again how that clip works. Okay, so just slide it in. That's it, you've installed the video card. Mind you, you need to plug in one of the six pin PCIe powers. I have four on this particular uh, chain here. I have it zip tied up, but you only need one six pin connector. All right, so now again, to remove that card, I'm gonna go ahead, push that little me retention mechanism down, pull the card out, comes out super easily. I'm gonna zoom in so that I can show you how that retention mechanism pops. One thing I forgot to show you guys is to install the card, this DVI connection and these HDMI and DisplayPort connections, they're going to need to line up to the back of the case here. Right over here, if you can see, where my fingers are sticking out of, that's where your monitors are going to connect. So. Again, and now I'm gonna zoom in so I can show you that little click. All right, remember, it's right there. Okay, look closely. All right, so just clicked in place. Now I'm gonna zoom out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and connect that PCIe connection right back here. All right, as I mentioned before, here is that little clip right here that you had to push down and pull out. That little guy retains right onto the little clip back here. Let me zoom in and show you that. All right, you can see that right here. That's where that little clip latches onto. So now what I'm gonna do is just connect that right in here. Slide it in, push, and it clicks right in place. Now. I'm not going to cable it right now in the video because, well, that's a simple thing to do. Literally, you hide the cables just like this. I don't need this one right now, so I slide it in this little pocket. And then maybe I'll zip tie these down here or something like that. So now the next thing I'm going to show you is, and the last thing, is now we just need to push this back in place. This retains all the cards in their slot. And now, aside from that, we're just going to go ahead and screw it in real quick. And just remember, it's a double wide card, so we're going to screw both in. And that's it. So you've just installed a video card. In this case, the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 460 OC card, but this same logic, the same method is going to work for you for any video card you install in the PCIe slot. When we go to a new slot, it might be different, but PCIe has been around for quite some time now. Anyway, this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger, again showing you how to install the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 460 OC card. See you guys.